Anza Borrego is pretty incredible. I used to think it was sort of a best kept secret of Southern California, but in recent years, it seems like the secret's out. And for good reason too. It's just so beautiful. Anza Borrego Desert State Park is packed with rugged beauty, perfect for adventure seekers. And if you explore the state park right, you'll get a flare of eccentric desert art. You can hike to a desert oasis in Borrego Canyon, camp in the mountains surrounding the desert encompassed by boulders and scenic viewpoints. Maybe you'll even see an elusive desert horned sheep, my personal favorite. When you visit, you definitely have to check out Gaeta Meadows, which consists of 130 large metal sculptures created by artist Ricardo Cresita, and you can find them around numerous areas along Borrego Springs Road. I encourage you to visit the Anza Borrego Visitor Center for more information and maps if you're looking to track them all down. It's well worth the exploring. And most famous is the sand dragon sculpture that looks like it's emerging in and out of the sand. <laughs> it always reminds me of Beetlejuice, but maybe it's just me. Although my favorite sculptures are dueling dinosaurs a little farther out. You can drive to these sculptures for some fun and simple off-roading. I'd recommend a car with a little bit of a higher clearance, but honestly, any car can pretty much make it. Other great locations to check out in Anza Borrego include Fonts Point for breathtaking sunrise and sunset views, but you'll definitely need a vehicle with four-wheel drive for this one. The sand gets pretty thick, so don't take this road lightly. The views are pretty unreal. If you're heading to Anza Borrego in the spring, it's well worth trying to get a glimpse of the wildflowers. And if you're really lucky, you'll catch the super bloom. And if you have some time to spare, cruise around the Salton Sea. It sits along the San Andreas Fault. It's pretty to look at, but do me a favor and don't take a dip in that water. There are many camping options around Anza Borrego, and as it becomes more popular, it's becoming more difficult to find open spots. On a whim and out of luck at our favorite campsite, we decided to check out Ocotillo Wells. As the sun set and we lit our campfire, we loved watching the quads and other off-roading vehicles traverse the dunes into the night. Definitely a different camping experience, but a lot of fun and just a bit noisy. This sunset though, Anza Borrego is a place I find myself coming back to again and again. It's just a couple hours from San Diego or three hours from Los Angeles, and it's worth experiencing. I don't know if it's just me, but it's the peacefulness that draws me back again and again, along with its rugged beauty and untouched feel. That's just my kind of zen.